Okay, so we just talked about the change from regular math classes that you had into AFM with interval notation with the brackets and parentheses. So before we move on, let me go ahead and give you a definition for interval notation. And this is my definition. Not actual book, not, not from a book but actually my definition. And so we just say interval notation is when you write inequalities with parentheses and brackets. So when you so when you write inequalities with parentheses and brackets, that's interval notation. Bam, bam, bam. Got it. It's easy. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into another thing that should be something that you maybe have heard of before, but not ne necessarily seen. It's a thing called infinity. Some of you might be thinking to infinity and beyond. Like Buzz Lightyear and all the good stuff. So with that, that's kind of like what we're talking about, like the deepest parts of numbers and the furthest number and furthest part of space that we never gotten to. And that's what we're talking about here with our number line and all the good stuff. It's talking about that infinity, that last place that we've never gone to before, or that last number that's there. So we're going to draw a number line here. And on a number line, we're going to put zero directly in the middle. Smack dab in the middle. Bam. Now, with that, we're going to do this part because on a number, no, no more number line, we have negative numbers here on the left side. And we have positive numbers here on the right side. So like positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 100, positive 2,000, stuff of that sort. So that's our positive numbers here on this side over here on the right side. Now, with this, to make it as simple and as easy as possible, if we have negative numbers on this side, that means the very last number over here on the left side here is always going to be negative infinity. Always. And all the numbers, since this is the positive numbers on this side, so whatever that very last number on this side is always going to be positive infinity. It's going to be the very last number over there. Now with this, if you're struggling with drawing the infinity sign, what you can do is just turn the paper over sideways and do an 8. And then turn it back. And see, it looks like infinity. So side, you can do it sideways, or if you have a way of actually doing it your way, like doing it normal, you can do it that way too. But that's in our, our infinity. So whenever we start graphing and we do things, we're going to put infinity on every single one of our graphs. And then we're going to go ahead and put all the shading part and all the good stuff to it, too. All right, so that's this part of it. That's the second information part. And then now in the next one, we're actually going to get into examples and all this great stuff. All right, see you then.